Hi guys, welcome to the channel Basic Learning. If you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe button. And to get notifications about our new videos, click the bell icon. We will make regular content on educational videos and facts. In this video, I want to tell six important suggestions for every student. Whether it might be a JE aspirant or NEET aspirant, it doesn't matter. I want to just mention how to get prepared for a particular examination. Not only examination, I want to discuss about how to listen the classes or how to concentrate in exam or how to minimize the mistakes in exam and the way of reading the books and the techniques, particularly the techniques which you use to solve the problems and also practice how you should practice. These are the topics that are going to be dealt in this particular video. So let's get started. These suggestions are particularly important in this competitive world. I want to mention an example for this. In a jungle, there are two friends. They saw a tiger at a distance. Then one of the friends seriously started tying his shoelace. Then the other friend asked him, can you imagine you can outrun the tiger? The friend replied, I need not outrun the tiger. It is just enough if I outrun you. The moral of this story is, in this present competitive world, no one is best. You should be better than the others. It might be even one percent also therefore do not think always of the best if you perform one percent higher than that of your friends it is sufficient to get into limelight i do not want to say not to fix your goals at higher end because it is necessary for a person to dream big our dreams should always exceed our reach i am not mentioning about dreams i am saying about reality in the reality of the competitive world you need not outrun everyone for example if you consider je advanced examination you need not get 372 out of 372 it is just enough even though if you get 340 you will get air one are you clear okay let us start with our discussion coming to the point number one that is reading habit some of you might think that we may know how to read a book and what else can you say about it okay if you know keep it aside but just uh, listen to the suggestions that i want to say these are my experiences in writing je advanced 2019 and je main 2019 i am making this video because i felt at the end of the revision that if somebody might have told me these suggestions some time earlier it would be beneficial and while coming to the reading habit first one is highlighting you should color code your book color coding i want to stress that word because you should have two two three highlighters in your hand and you should keep suppose let us say i have green red and blue divide the points into three categories and the first one is the points that you had already known but you think you might forgot during the time of examination use one color for that and second one is sometimes you may encounter very new points that you have not experienced at all till the date for that use the second color and third point that is you may always confuse whether in this formula is the square root there or not there further use one more color and i am repeating those three points once again first color is for unknown things second color is for confusing things third color is for the things that should be remembered coming to the second point in reading habit is i want to mention how to read a particular reference book might be jdl or something now i'm going to tell you the way in which you should read one particular reference book suppose you are going through your practice session and suppose in the let us say in the chemistry class and you got one doubt in a particular question that i'm i should read about this topic in some reference book then you might open that book and continue reading the topic for a while here comes the point of concern while you are reading a book you will read one particular topic let us say it is a small topic small topic in the sense not that much small that it might take around one hour it will take one hour to read and you are reading that reference book for one hour in that one hour while reading you may encounter some important points you may feel very excited that you had learned the new points let us keep that excitement aside for a while now if you underline those points it would be very helpful in your future i am saying this because you will not have that one hour time throughout your revision schedule to read that small topic in the vast area that topic contributes only 0.001 percent in 100 percent of the syllabus therefore you cannot invest one hour of time in the final days of your revision therefore whenever you are reading a reference book you should highlight those points which you felt as important therefore again when you got doubt in that particular area you might refer to those important points only and one more thing i want to say is if you felt that point is very important in
in that particular topic then you might write that point in the short notes here also you should use the concept of color coding for reference book as well as short notes i will guarantee you that you will find it the utmost helpful thing okay guys now you understood about trading now here comes the second point that is short notes short notes the name itself suggests that it is the short form of your notes that means if your notes consists of 100 points the short notes will consist only 2 to 3 points that you feel that they are the most important points in that particular notes here i doesn't want to mention that note notes itself denotes only the handwritten notes it might be printed material also it can be a reference book or your textbook or your uh, class notes that is taught by a professor in this short notes you should note down these particular points the first one is the important points collected from all the books this is already i mentioned and the second one this is very very important the second one is the important techniques that you encounter while you are solving your practice session or during the examination or some kind of new formulae that is not um, discussed in class uh, you found it in some material during the practice that should be written in your short notes it will help this day or the other i will make sure that it will definitely help you and it will make a lot of difference a person with short notes and a person without short notes it will increase your performance by 2 to 3 percent and one more advantage of short notes is it will keep you relaxed that means tomorrow if there is suppose you are new to the revision schedule that means you had started just your revision schedule and completed it okay and not start suppose you had just completed the revision schedule and going to enter grand tests then for the first grand test you may feel nervous that you might have not revised all the things if you have short notes in your hand then your job will be simple and you can attend the examination with cool mind with cool mind in the sense with short notes you can refer all the important points that you had encountered in the past this short notes will help in all subjects but in chemistry it helps the most particularly in the inorganic chemistry in the inorganic chemistry some people will have a small mis conception that even after practicing a lot or reading a lot that they hadn't remembered anything or they didn't know anything it happens not with some people only 5 to 10 percent people will not have this problem and remaining 90 to 95 percent will have this problem the problem is they will listen to the classes perfectly they will do their practice session in the inorganic chemistry they will read many reference books and they will start practicing even after all this they will have small misconception that is they will have a small feeling it drives in the absence that is it, it it makes the person to think that he doesn't know anything in that particular area this problem can be solved by writing short notes after writing short notes during revision if you refer that short notes you will get the confidence that confidence is nothing but you know a lot of things that you have, might have encountered during your lectures or during the study of reference book then it will boost a confidence a lot in you and makes you think that you are strong in inorganic chemistry this happened with me after completing the inorganic session i felt it as i didn't remember everything but after referring to the short notes it took only two to three hours i think for referring the entire inorganic chemistry short notes after that two to three hours i felt different that i think uh, i had remembered all the things it's my feeling coming to the third point it is hard work yeah you are hearing me clear one should definitely work hard to achieve their dreams here the hard work should be done in a smart manner let us consider an example for it suppose if you are given a volume to move let us say it is of clay in order to move that some people will try to move it in the shape as it is given and some may try to make it in the shape of cuboid or cube but the person who makes an approximate spear with it can carry it with ease he just needs to roll it over did you understand my intention the clay refers to our work and the spear refers to the smartness we need to mold our works in such a way that they can be easily performed by us one should have their one's own way of approach Coming to the fourth point, which is very important while writing exams, that is technique. Yeah, technique plays a very important role in an examination. The technique is nothing but the approach to your problem. One who is having a good way of approach, which is smart, tricky, then that will be very good. Always a good technique helps us a lot and fetches us a good score. An example of technique is mentioned by me in a video. You can refer it in the description or the link popping above. The fifth 
this point is presence of mind presence of mind is important in the examination as well as in the classroom presence of mind deals with the point nothing but how much we are using our intelligence that means even if we are intelligent if we are not keeping our mind and soul together we cannot produce fruitful results for example we have the problem 2 plus 2 if we are alert and keep our mind and soul together we will keep the answer 4 or else somebody might think it is 2 divided by 2 thinking that plus sign is the divided by sign and they will keep the answer as 1 here we are visualizing how the students commit mistakes by using Tom and Jerry. If we assume Jerry as the correct answer and Tom as the student, he is aggressively solving the question and the answer is 100 centimeters. And in the question, it is asked in SI units. But if we forgot to convert into SI units, we will get a wrong answer. Here see, the train is falling into the hole. What is the use? There is no use. The result will be the wrong answer. Therefore, be careful what and find out what is asked in the question and write that only. These kind of mistakes can be avoided by being with presence of mind. It is an important weapon that every student should possess. Presence of mind will not come very easily. It should have a great deal of practice. It may take one month, two months or three months for a student to be highly focusing. It comes with the major way called meditation. Yeah, you are hearing me clear. It is meditation. Meditation makes our mind more strong and we can be more alert during our classes and examination. It will definitely improve our score by nearly 10%. For some people, it might be 20% or 30%. It depends. Therefore, this should be a very important weapon of every student. Sixth point is speed and practice. Speed comes with practice. One should be very thorough through various number of processes in a particular topic. For example, in an examination, there are 20 questions given. Out of those, 13 are familiar models. The 13 questions should be attended by the student in very less time. To do so, he should be very speed and accurate. This speed comes from nowhere. That is, it comes from practice. Practice brings man speed. Having speed is not enough. Along with speed, one should have a very high accuracy. Accuracy of about 90 to 100 percent. It makes a lot of difference in our scores. Even if we observe the advanced examination for two students in case of draw after having some criteria in one criteria they are considering the number of positive marks also for example two students got same marks they will see first some criteria even if those criteria are same for the both students then they will go for number of positive marks which student is having more positive marks will be given a better rank okay therefore this accuracy also helps to improve our rank in order to get speed you cannot get in in the first attempt itself you should practice practice and practice one should practice not because you don't know the subject but because to improve your speed and accuracy i want to tell one more suggestion to get this one should write a number of exams as many as possible exam need not be conducted by your college you may take suppose if you have a book you can take a group of 30 questions and keep one hour time limit and write it as an examination if it were given as an examination how would you solve it solve it in the same manner during the practice sessions also it will definitely help a lot i practiced it and it helped me a lot Okay friends, now I want to summarize this video. At the beginning of this lecture, I mentioned about a story. This story means a lot. Just try to understand the inner meaning of the story. Okay, now coming to the summary, the first point I told is reading habit. During reading, you should definitely color code your notebook. The second point is short notes. Your short notes should be your signature. The third point is hard work. One should do hard work in a smart manner. I want to make a note of a quotation here that is success comes before work only in dictionary that means you should always do work to be successful i want to say one more thing what i want to say is hard work never always make a person successful but a person cannot be successful without hard work the fourth point is technique for getting more details about technique you can check in the description below the fifth point is presence of mind it comes with meditation sixth point is speed which comes with practice okay before concluding this video i want to mention a small quote success is not a destination success is a journey the meaning of this quote is in your life of intermediate 
while writing any some practice tests always your rank need not be fixed some people might cross you in the second exam you might cross them those ranks are not permanent do not think about them at all no one can stop your success success is never a destination you shouldn't think that you have become successful and you can stop working from here okay one more thing you should remember is success will never have full stops they will have only commas your successful journey can stop only for some time but no one can stop you forever from being successful all the best for your career please subscribe to our channel and to get notifications about our new videos please click the bell button if you like this video please click the like button and share it if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment section below or if you want any video from us you can describe about it in the comment section below and we will try to make it